Tech fans, YouTubers, what is up? Another day means more tech. This time, the tech, however, is on the audio side of things. A little bit different, but still, that tech of tomorrow, good and yummy flavor you love to have in your belly all day. Mmm, delicious tech. Now, you guys follow the channel, and you guys know that for years I've been building up my audio stuff. We've been recording songs, buying guitars, recording guitars, just doing music crazily and crazily and crazily. And one of the major companies that we've always dealt with has been Sweetwater. And the reason that we've dealt with Sweetwater is that they've always done a great job taking care of us. Currently, our main man is AJ Becerra, but we've had a few guys before him, and honestly, all of them have been great. If you want the best customer service, you want to make sure that when you get your product that there's going to be a company backing this product up. Sweetwater is definitely the company that you guys should be checking out. They have payment plans. You can make a few payments, get your goods. You can have you know, your equipment in your hand already before you pay for it, which can be a lot, of, a lot of fun. Just make those payments. So if you guys out there who know about them, you know what I'm talking about. If you're considering music gear, you guys should definitely, though, check out Sweetwater and see what they have to offer because I've never had a bad experience with them. And when your equipment goes down, you don't want to be standing around with your thumb in your butt going, oh my God, what am I going to do? You want your studio up and running, and these guys will work with you. Now, on that same note, I was contacted by Steinberg and one of their agencies, and they said, hey, would you like to work in conjunction with Sweetwater and do an unboxing of this brand new product that we're releasing onto the market, the URRT2? And I was like, well, Hells to the yes, I want to see this product. I love audio stuff. I love audio stuff. <laughs> audio, audio. <laughs> Back off, it's mine. All right. Now, with that said, though, essentially what you have with the URRT2 is a 24 bit, 192 kilohertz USB 2 interface. Now, this interface, though, is unlike interfaces that you've seen in the past because dun, da, 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 it has Rupert Neve technology built inside of it. Now, some people out there are probably going, Elric, who the hell is this Rupert Neve guy? Well, Rupert Neve is a guy who spent most of his life making and building hand-wired consoles, transformers, everything around the music industry, and it's some of the, the most sought-after stuff in the world. The 80 series itself, probably there's nothing that can touch it on the planet as far as warmth and just natural-sounding stuff. And having Rupert Neve technology built into this little unit that comes to market at under $400 is actually pretty amazing stuff. If you guys are musicians out there and you like wonder who the heck that is, look it up because there's a lot of people out there who know who Rupert Neve is and what he's like brought over into the domain of music and it hasn't been you know a little bit it's been a lot so let's first see what's inside the box and then let's talk a little bit more about the features and design of the urrt2 by steinberg so for those of you who are into the hardcore unboxings let's take a look at the box itself just so we don't miss anything so here's the front of the box just telling you a little bit about what it is talking about rupert neve once again on the side of the box right here, see a lot of different things, the Yamaha Deep Ray, the 192 kilohertz, all the stuff we already talked about. But this unit also does come with a lot of no latency effects that come free inside of the box along with the software. So that'll be pretty cool to play with down the road. The back of the box, just a bunch of different stuff showing you exactly what we're pretty much what we're going to be talking about in the video, but it's all laid out here for those people who are out, and out shopping and going, hey, do I really want to buy this? What the hell does this damn thing do? Okay, so there's that. So let me spin it around here. Just go ahead and pop the cap. On the top, we see the power cable. Let me just go ahead and get all this stuff out of here for you folks so you can see it really clearly here without uh, destroying the rest of the house along the way. So inside of here, we have the USB interface. And this is great because uh, this thing wants to keep popping down. What's great about this is it's USB 2.0. It'll work with Windows 7, SP1, all the way up to the latest Windows. It'll work with all the Mac stuff, so you don't have to worry about what kind of computer you have. That's actually something I think is really cool. Everything else is in here, the audio interface manual. Pretty much all your documentation, all that stuff is right here. On the side over here, obviously we've got the power cable, the charging station made for US, which is where we are. So that's a good thing in that. Get that out of the way. And I believe all that's going to be left in here is going to be the unit. And something I want to tell you guys about the unit as well is this thing is not some lightweight product. Let me just clear all this stuff out of here for you folks. This is not a lightweight unit. I mean, you can hear it. This thing is made of solid steel, man. I mean, it is seriously made like a tank. So let me go ahead and 
pull it out of there. Take a look, we'll take a look at the top real quick. You can see that everything's laid out very easy for you to see. Very, very easy for you to see. Although in a way, this is kind of crazy. It kind of would have been better <laughs> on the back, but I think it's probably there as well. We haven't got that far, but this is kind of cool too, because let's face it, how many times are you using your unit and you like want to go and do something back there, but you don't know what you're doing. And one of the reasons why this is really cool is the phantom power. So this has phantom power plus 48 volts. Now, my only caveat is I wish it would have been on the front of the machine. I think it would have been a little bit better, but since they have it marked, it won't be that hard to, 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 you know, to touch onto. And it's really, really made of solid steel. Now on the front, we have the USB little light right there that tells you that you're plugged in. Now there's two plugins in the front. This one doubles as a high Z and a low Z. This one's just standard low Z. So you'd plug your guitar into here, you plug your mic into here. Everything works really easily. Just plug it in, up and going. You can engage the high Z by this button right here, but only this particular one in the front here does high Z. Now, like I said before, the transformers inside of this unit are the Yamaha D-Pre. Now, these are really good and warm product on their own, but when you get the Rupert Neve and you add that, which is optional, there's two buttons right here in the front, and these particular two buttons, by pushing them on and off, engage or disengage the Rupert Neve. So if you really like the way the Rupert Neve sounds on something, you're like, hey, I gotta have it, well then, hey, push that button. If you're not really happy with it, well then, turn it off. Your gain and everything is located very easily right here on the front. You have your headphones, you have your output mix here, and your phone's volume here. Very easy to use, very straight ahead interface. So on the back, you have the power on button, you have the power connection, the USB 2.0. Like I said, the phantom power is here. You also have MIDI connectability. <laughs> you also have MIDI connectivity as well back here. So if you wanna do something with MIDI, you can do that as well. So lots of great options. You have your main outputs. These are going out to your studio monitors. And then you also have two more line inputs here on the back. And last but not least, on the bottom, there are little rubber feet, so it keeps the unit from sliding around. Now, also inside of the box, you get all the software, like I said, that you can use to get up and going. Whether you have a Mac, whether you have a PC, it doesn't matter what you have. They include the software to at least get you up and going so you can be playing with the unit the day that you get it. Well, unless for some reason you just don't have a computer. So at the end of the day, here is my breakdown of the URRT2. Now, let's just put this in perspective. Rupert Neve is a guy who spent his whole life hand building consoles and transformers, making them the most ultimate thing in the world. And at this point, if you wanted to get one of those consoles of the 80 series, you'd have to be like, you know, super duper rich like Dave Grohl to be able to get your hands on one. And this particular market drops to the market at $349. So for $349 for a desktop user, this product is pretty amazing. The fact that it comes with all the different types of software you need to get started, whether you're on a Mac, a PC, whether you're using a tablet or whether you're using an iPhone, it's all there making it so that you can really simply integrate this you know, interface into your life. Um, the Rupert Neve technology, I have to stress this, is just amazing. And the fact that you can change between the Yamaha D-Pre and them gives you the op you know gives you gives you the option excuse me of being able to change your sound focus so you can have them on or you can have them off now me personally for vocals and stuff like that the Neve stuff is just unbelievable. It adds warmth, it adds clarity, it just makes things sound really great. For guitars and stuff though, I found that the, the Yamaha, you know, the d they were actually great and worked just perfect for that. And I didn't really see that much of a difference. But there's lots of options inside this little unit comes with everything you need to get up and going. And here's what's really cool, okay? You guys saw when I got that Universal Aero product and how much of a pain in the butt it was to try to get that USB Type-C card to work in any system. It was just a freaking nightmare. Check it out. This product is USB and it's Type-2 USB. So it'll work with pretty much anything out there. You're not going to worry about, oh, am I going to plug this thing in and freak it out? And the spec requirements aren't that good. I mean, excuse me, aren't that, I'm going to say, aren't that good. They're, they're not super duper high. The requirements for you to be able to run this on the PC are, are pretty, pretty low spec actually, all things considered. So with this particular device, you could probably build a PC, not the greatest PC in the world, but you could probably have your entire music studio 
up and running with this device, speakers and everything for about $1,500 and you're going to be right off the bat going with great stuff. Plus, it'll work with any of the software that is out there through ASIO, so it doesn't matter whatever you know software that you're using, it's going to work right in with that perfectly. Um, for people out there who love Steinberg software, I'm going to be trying to work with them to see if we can get a copy of that and check that out as well. I've always heard great things about it. I've just never personally used it myself before. So I want to thank Sweetwater once again for sending this product out and letting us check it out. Thank you very much, guys. We'll have a link down below where you guys can buy this for yourself, but honestly, at the end of the day at $349, the URRT2 is a serious editor's choice across the board.